Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Today, Arch Linux pushed through an update for the long-term support kernel, an update for Firefox, and some other updates. So, I'm going to update my system. So, let's get to it. I'm in a virtual machine of Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. And I'm going to go to Workspace ONE where I have Firefox opened up. So right now we're at the uh, kernel website, the Linux kernel archives. This 6.7 is going to become the stable kernel. And this 6.6.10 is going to become the long-term support kernel. Now what's happened is, is that uh, in Arch Linux, they've jumped the gun. So what they've done is, let's go to Linux-LTS. Let's hit enter. So they released a kernel in Arch Linux. They released a kernel today, January 9th. It's the LTS Linux kernel. It's the long-term support kernel. And it's 6610. So they've jumped the gun ahead of the Linux kernel archives. And they've replaced this long-term support kernel 6171 with 661. Okay, so Arch Linux has just gone, jumped a little bit ahead, maybe a day or two or a few days ahead of the Linux kernel archives. So anyways, like I said, this stable kernel has become the most current long-term support kernel for Arch Linux. And probably within a few days or so, it's going to be the most current long-term support kernel on Linux kernel archives. And this 6.7 will be the most the stable kernel in a day or two or whatever. I don't want to say how long it's going to take, but it's going to be very soon. Okay, now if we go here, to Arch, back to Arch Linux, they also have here Linux 6.7. This just came up. So let's click it on. So they're testing it right now. So which Arch Linux is testing the 6.7 kernel to be the stable kernel? It's in, it's in the testing uh, repo right now. Okay, so in my machine, if I go to a terminal, let's just go to Workspace 9. And let's open up a terminal and let's make it a little larger. So it'd be shift plus if you're using my Xterm configuration file. And let's do U name R. So the kernel I have here is 6171. So let's go back. Let's go back to um, the kernel archives. So that's the kernel I have here. So when I do my update, I'm going to end up with this kernel, 66 but it's going to be called long-term support. And I hope that makes sense. I hope that's not too confusing because this is going to be fixed. This page is going to change in a day or two. Very soon anyways. And now let's go to, um, let's type in Firefox. And we can see in Arch Linux, Firefox was updated today as well. Now, what I'm going to do is go to the mirrors. I'm going to go to Arch, the wiki. I'm going to type in mirrors, and I should save this. And I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go to mirror status list. And we know what I'm going to do. I'm going to save this. I'm going to bookmark this. I have it bookmarked in my main production machine. Let's just call it Arch mirrors there we go so we can go home and I can go to arch mirrors and I'm going to scan down and it goes successfully syncing mirrors and I'm going to go country and I know this already because I looked it up <laughs> before I turned the camera on here let me do that again so here we have um, HTTPS America package build 
It has the S in there, so it's secure. It's 100% in sync and 0.6. That's a good score. Now I'm going to scan down a bit more. And we have hacking and coffee. It's HTTPS. It's 100% in sync and it's 0.7. So I'm going to use these two mirrors. Now I don't go through this whole procedure every time I'm doing an update. I used to, but I don't do it anymore. Normally I just go here if there's a problem in the middle of my update. And so if something goes wrong and it says it can't reach the mirrors. And sometimes when you're doing an update, you're going to get that message, can't reach the mirrors. But I just thought I'd do this again. And I'm kind of repeating myself because I already did a video on this a few days ago about the Arch Linux mirrors. So I'm going really fast. And what I want to do is, well, let's close everything. Now we're on Workspace 9, and you could even do this. I don't know if I've showed this too often, but let's do Pac-Man QI Firefox. And well, that's way too big. So I did Shift. I held down the Shift and the Minus button. If you're using my X-Term configuration file, Shift and Minus button makes it smaller. And let's do it again. Well, that's way too small. I don't know if that's too small for you or not. It's on one screen. So we can see right now we're using Firefox. Right now we're on Firefox 121, 0-1.0-1. And I installed it on Monday, January 1st. And the build date of this Firefox was December 19th. But I installed it on January 1st because that's when I did this, made this virtual machine. So if we go here to last, we can see I made this virtual machine on January 1st. Anyways, let's clear the screen. And if you're using my uh, Zash configuration file, you could go into change mirrors. Put your password in, and it's going to take you to the mirror list. Now, if you're not using my Zash configuration file, you have to do sudo bim etsy Pacman D slash mirror list and hit enter. Okay. But if you're using my Zesh configuration file, you're just going to go clear the screen. Let's change mirrors. And we can see I have two mirrors here. And the reason why those two mirrors are there at the top, normally I use, well, sometimes I use those two mirrors. The other two mirrors that we were just looking at weren't 100% in sync on January 1st. They were like 99% in sync. So I ended up using these two mirrors when I did my installation. But now I'm going to go and put those mirrors in as well. I'm not going to delete these first, these two, but I'm going to put those two in before I do my update. I'm going to do slash America. And there it is right there. America package build. And I'm gonna, making sure I'm on the one with the S. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to take it to the top. I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to uncomment it. So now I've activated it. And I'm going to go slash hacking and copy. So this is the one without the S. I don't want it. I'm going to go down to the one with the S. See, it has the S here. Okay, so I'm going to delete it. I'm going to take it to the top. Paste it in, take out the comment. So now I have America package build, which is at 0.6 right now and fully in sync. The second mirror, hacking and copy, is at 0.7 and it's 100% in sync. And now I have four mirrors at top. So I'm going to save the file. Clear the screen. Just make that a little larger. And what I'm going to do is, you can do this in one command, but I like to do it in two. I could do sudo pac, pacman that's yy to only sync it, to only sync the mirrors, because it, you always have to sync the mirrors. When you change mirrors, whenever you make a change in your mail list, you have to sync it. So I could do that and then do my update, or I could put the y in. And that will 
resync the mirrors and do the update at the same time. And also, if you're using my configuration file, you could just type in update. If you're using my Zesh configuration file, you can just use type in update and it will update the system, but it won't sync it. So you know what I'm going to do? Let's do it this way. Let's do sudo pacman syu. Oops, sorry. SYY. I'm just going to sync the mirrors. That's done. And now the mirrors are in sync. Wasn't that fast? So now I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to do update. And you can only type in update like that if you're using my Zesh configuration file. And I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to say yes. Let's just do de the default is yes. And now this is a new thing in the arch that just came out today. Uh, they're replacing. And you know what? Let's go back to the wiki. I should show you this. Because if you're running Arch, you might run into this. Uh, and I forgot about this. Let's open up Firefox. And I wasn't intending for this to be a long video. I know I say that all the time. Let's go to Arch Linux. And when you land on the main Arch Linux page, there's the latest news. And the one thing I love about Arch Linux is they don't put a lot of news items up here. They only put the very important things up here. So when you see something up here, you should read it and take note of it. Like for instance, they posted something today. The last time was December the 3rd. So that was a month ago. The last time before that was November the 2nd. And that was a month ago. And then the last time before that was September 22nd. So like almost a month and a half. So they're not... They don't go crazy with posting latest news. They only post latest news when it's an important. So today they posted something on January 9th. And they're saying they're going to be using Dbus Broker as the default. And they're going to be getting rid of the Dbus daemon, but they're still going to be supporting it for a while. So then they're saying when you do your next update, so they're telling you when you do your next update, the install is going to ask you if you want this or this one, the broker units, or the daemon units, they're, they're recommending, they're telling you right here, they recommend that you pick the default. So let's go, let's close that. Let's go back to our terminal. So now we're in the middle of our update and they're asking you, do you want number one, the broker units, or number two, the daemon units? The default is number one, which is the broker units. And on their web page, they're telling you, you should, they're recommending to go with the default. So you can type a one in or you can just press enter. I just pressed enter. Now there's 21 packages to update. You can see they're putting the broker unit, the Dbus broker and the Dbus broker units in. Here you can see Firefox. You can see that changing the kernel from the 6171 to the 6610.1. And there's some other things. Oh, system D is being updated as well. So I'm going to hit enter. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to pause the video. I'm just going to let it go through and show you how fast Arch Linux updates 21 packages, including the kernel, Firefox, System D, and some other things. And then I'm going to reboot because I always reboot the system when there's a kernel change or a kernel update. You have to reboot the system. And it's probably good to reboot the system when System D is updated as well. But normally, I only reboot the systems when there's a kernel update. And it's almost done. And I'm going to reboot it. And hopefully, this won't be a long uh, video. <laughs> it's almost done. And normally, when I'm doing an update, there we go. It's done. It wasn't that fast. And I did not pause the video. Then I'm going to reboot. And it's going to reboot into the TTY because I disabled LightDM, the login manager, or as it's properly called, the display manager. So now we're right at the TTY. We can see we are using, if you look at the top here, we are using the Arch Linux 66.10-1 LTS long-term support kernel. And I'm going to put my username in. I'm going to put my password in. And I'm going to do an HTOP. Let's just see. And now we're running at 118 megabytes of RAM. 
So I have four processors, four gigs of RAM, and no swap in this virtual machine. And we're running at 118 megabytes of RAM. Oh, it jumped up to 122. I'm going to quit. I'm going to type in Stardex. And now we're in the awesome window manager. I'm going to open up my terminal. I'm going to make it a little larger. Now let's type in HTOP. And now we're in the awesome window manager. We're running a bit higher RAM. We're running at 254 megabytes of RAM. And I'm going to quit there. And I'm going to close this. But before I close it again, I'm just going to do a uname R. You can do it that way. You can see the kernel we're running. And you can do, uh, let's do Pacman dash QI Firefox. We can see now we're running Firefox version 121.0.1. The build date was today at 9.50 in the morning, Tuesday, January 9th at 9.50 in the morning. And I installed it today, Tuesday, January 9th at 6.54 p.m. Let's close up. And that's it. In this video, I updated Arch Linux and there was about 22 packages to update, including the kernel, system D, and Firefox and I showed you how fast it was and I showed you how to check your mirrors on the mirror web page and how to change your mirrors again and I kind of repeat it myself because I did a video on the mirrors a few days ago anyways I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching until next time I am the Lennox Mensch